So my name is Kanyit Aba and I'm an image consultant. So I'm not just a stylist, which is what most people think image consulting is. So I do personal image consulting, which could be anything from wardrobe changes, like if someone wants to up their game, like they swear game, we help with that. <laughs> So we do um, wardrobe consultations if anyone wants to change. Like for instance, some people have lost weight and they want to completely change their look to fit with their new image. We do that. Um, we do concepts for like um, corporates. I've done Pepsi, I've done a whole lot of like Simba, Lays and whatever. So we just conceptualize anything that has to do with image, style, styling, uh, we do personal shopping so yeah that's that's what image consulting is I've always loved fashion but I never knew that you, people could make money from doing stuff in the fashion industry besides working for magazines I was in corporate like most people and I was so frustrated and I decided to take a sabbatical and I went to the UK and just by like at a party, I met a girl, her name is Anna Jean. She's like the best person that ever happened in my life. She had come to South Africa to work in Cape Town for some fashion uh, magazine. And when she got back home, she started her own image consulting company. So she's the one who actually told me about image consulting, told me to take up a course. I did that. Three months later, I started working for her. And that's how I knew I could make money from something I love. I don't necessarily have a typical day at work because days are different, campaigns are different, and I work on different projects. So um, most part of my days are literally sourcing clothes, going from one designer to the next, going from shop to shop, getting stuff that work for whatever brief I have at that time. And sometimes it would be location scouting. Most of the time it's just dealing with designers looking for locations and yeah like a whole lot of driving around so it's not as glamorous and a whole lot of picking up stuff and it's not all glam trust me <laughs> having to deal with people's insecurities because being an image consultant means people are bringing you into their personal space. So for instance, like let's say someone who was a size 40 and is now a size 34 or whatever, their mind is still set on trying to hide their body. Now here you are telling them, okay, for me to help you, you need to take your kit off. It's just the whole working on people being comfortable with who you are, people being comfortable with you changing their mindset. Because as much as people want to have an image consultant, they're still stuck in their ways. Like for instance, someone would just love black because black helps them hide who they are. And for you to come in and say, but let's try a bit of pink, let's try a bit of blue. You know, for you to even try, get to the point where they are con fully convinced that you are the person to get them to where they need to be. Yeah, I guess that's, that's the biggest challenge for me. Seeing things come to light, like um, whether it's an individual who I've helped break out of their shell or a concept that comes from nowhere, like developing an ad concept, seeing the styling, seeing the location and the styling coming together, seeing the whole journey come into something that, that's beautiful, yeah. First of all, you need to love fashion. You need to love research about the fashion industry. And sometimes you have to go to events like Fashion Week, which are not always fun. <laughs> But you need to be, you need to know what's happening. You need to do your research. You need to, you know what I mean? You need to be in touch with uh, not just following trends, but also knowing what works for people because not everyone that comes to you could be a trendy person. Like not every client of mine dresses like, well, actually none of my clients dress like I do, but you know what I mean? So you need to be able to tap into what that person wants 
and translate it in a way that would work for them, but still has your signature in it. So, um, and the other thing is, as much as it's a labor of love, you need to, like I said, I did a course just to know because clients are different. You know, it's very easy for me because I'm a black woman to work with black women. But when it comes to like, for instance, working with Caucasian women, they have different hair colors, different tones. So you need to know all of that. And yeah, so simple things like going for a short course, it doesn't have to be like a three year course, like going for a short course just to know like for instance, color combinations, how to how to work with color, how different skin tones work with different colors. Yeah. So educating yourself. Social media, I'm mostly on Instagram. Uh, I've got two pages because I do two different things when it comes to my work. So I've got Style Collusion, which is, um, so, the other side of my fashion brand is I love accessories and so I source accessories and sell them to people because I had I had a phase where people would ask me where I got things from and I, I usually buy things online so you know how annoying it is for people to say oh I bought it online or I bought it overseas so I thought okay maybe this is a gap for me to actually source the stuff I like and bring them to people here and sell them so um, it's at style collusion on Instagram for that and then for my styling work and um, my styling portfolio, it's SC underscore squid on Instagram.